It is back to school time, and as we head back to school, you have to remember smartphones. They make it even easier to stay connected 24-7, but have you ever thought about how those devices could impact your sleep? Yeah, phones like laptops, tablets, and TVs, they emit that blue light, which is the type of light your brain interprets as daylight. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris spoke with a doctor at Hartford Hospital ahead of back to school to find out ways parents, what they can do to ensure their kids are getting a full night's sleep. Good morning. Well, good morning, Eric and Irene. We are here in Hartford, where many students will be heading back to school today and ahead of back to school. As you mentioned, we did speak with the doctor to find out ways that parents can ensure that their little ones are getting all the sleep that they need. Technology is a huge part of our daily lives, and it's often hard to put those cell phones, tablets, and computers away. But these gadgets can affect your sleep in more ways than you think. If you are trying to go to sleep at night and you're on a phone, any light, any bright light at that time is going to really prevent you from getting to sleep. We spoke with Dr. Edward Salerno, an attending physician at Hartford Hospital, ahead of back to school time. He explained to us staring directly at a bright screen makes it difficult to crash right when you crawl into bed. It's going to clue the brain in that we need to send signals that we're ready to wake up or we're not ready yet to go to start the sleep process. According to sleep.com, a site powered by the National Sleep Foundation, 71% of people sleep either holding their smartphone, having it in bed with them, or having it on their nightstand. This light emitting from your devices confuses your brain into thinking the sun is out. So by limiting this light late at night, Dr. Slerno says, your kids will be able to fall asleep much earlier. That's something he adds both children and adolescents struggle with. What kids need is bright light in the morning morning to try to wake them up and try to more advance their sleep phase so they're able to get up earlier and get to bed earlier. To get a better night's slumber, Sleep.com recommends parents limit their kids' technology use in the bedroom and, if possible, make their bedroom a technology-free zone. And again, as I've already mentioned, many students will be heading back to school today in Hartford. Coming up in our next half hour, we will be speaking with the principal of Rawson Elementary School. That story is coming up. But for now, live at the Bulba Newsroom in Hartford, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.